The New Hope and Ivyland Railroad A small little branch line in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, running excursions from New Hope to La Casta Station and rarely as far as Warmester Septa Station. One of the engines that makes New Hope all the well known is their steam engine number 40. 40 has a special place in my heart, as not only was it the first locomotive I ever rode behind as a little boy, but it also is an engine I practically grew up with alongside Thomas the Tank Engine. Today, we're going to take a special look into the history of old number 40. New Hope 40 was built on December 2nd, 1925 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It was built for the Lancaster and Chester Road in South Carolina. 40 was built as a 280 consolidation steam locomotive, and for those new to the railroad hobby, that indicates the amount of wheels she has, which means she's got two pilot wheels up front, eight drive wheels, and no trailing truck wheels, hence the 280. Unfortunately, very little is known about 40's career on the Lancaster and Chester, other than the fact it was primarily used to haul textiles. In 1947, 40 was sold to the 3.7 mile short line called the Cliffside Railroad in North Carolina. The railroad mainly hauled textile products, waste, and scrap metal. Despite 40 being refurbished by the Cliffside, she was retired from service in 1962. 40 was then sold to Steam Trains Incorporated, a company aimed at preserving railroad history by the use of steam engines and vintage railroad coaches. The company was looking for a line to use their excursions. At first they planned to use the Reading branch between Bridgeport and East Falls. However, the Reading, and later Conrail, and today's Norfolk Southern, had other services found to use that line. But the Reading had another branch line they'd never used since 1954, a branch line running from the electrified Warmester Station to New Hope, known as the New Hope Branch. Steam Trains Incorporated settled their company HQ into New Hope, renaming their company to the New Hope and Ivyland, and the Reading sent old number 40 to the Reading shops in St. Clair, Pennsylvania, along with a retired set of 1920s steel coaches that they haven't used for years, as well as a former CN 460 number 1533 that was also owned by the New Hope and Ivyland. This was the first time 40 had been back in the Philadelphia area since being built in 1925. 40 was ready by 1966 and along with 1533 operated excursions on the line. Unfortunately, 40 wasn't so popular with crews. By the summer of 1967, 40 was sidelined as a backup as 1533 was found to be easier to run compared to 40, and the railroad's third engine, former US Army 060 number 9, was also sidelined, which is now currently in restoration on the SMS lines in Camden, New Jersey. In 1974, 40 was rebuilt by the New Hope and Ivy Land's new owners, the McHugh Brothers, and returned to service. McHugh Brothers Service was the freight carrier for New Hope at the time, having an interesting collection of Baldwin and Alco diesels. In the late 1970s, in addition to 40 being taken out of service for repairs, the New Hope and Ivy Land passenger operations were handed over to the newly formed New Hope Steam Railway. From 1981 to 1986, 40 was the New Hope Steam Railway's workhorse, pulling the majority of trains, even almost replacing 1533, which was in need of an overhaul, but the New Hope Steam Railway never had the funds. But when the group leadership changed in 1986, number 40 went silent once again, along with number 9. But all hope wasn't lost. 
In 1990, the New Hope and Ivy Lane came under new ownership, and 40 was rebuilt to operational condition by shop forces from the Strasburg Railroad, returning to operation in June of 1991. From then on, 40 became the only steam engine and the icon of New Hope, and she still is today. Now let's quickly jump into some technical aspects on number 40. Her drive wheel diameter is 50 inches and she weighs in at 160,000 pounds, that's 72.6 tons. Her maximum speed is 45 miles an hour or 72 kilometers an hour with a tractive effort of 32,700 pounds by force, which is 145 kilo newtons. She isn't a heavyweight champion, nor is she going to break any speed records, but her stats are just perfect for tourist duties, and she's no stranger for short-line freight operations if she ever gets the chance. Like most East Coast steam locomotives, she's powered by coal with a boiler pressure of 190 pounds per square inch. As for whistles, Forty has quite the collection, as she's worn several over her career. It's likely her stock whistle was a Baldwin 3 chime, but her main whistle nowadays is a Reading 6 chime, which the railroad finds very fitting, considering the fact the branch line she runs on is a former Reading one. Here's just a few samples of just some of the whistles Forty has worn over the years, because trust me, she's worn a lot, and there's a lot in the collection. <laughs> started off as a mechanical bell, but nowadays the bell is hand rung. I only have a few videos as proof of this, but it's still rather curious to think about. Also for those with good ears, doesn't this bell sound rather familiar? <laughs> Perhaps it was the standard bell a lot of Baldwin built steam locomotives had? Oh whatever, moving on. Forty would have to be taken out of service again in 2011 for boiler work, but was soon back in steam. Then came May 2019, when Forty's career would hit an all new high point. After successful excursions for Lansdale Founders Day, with their most recent runs at the time being made on August 24th, 2018, the New Hope and Ivy Land, the Pennsylvania Northeastern, which was a subsidiary of the New Hope, and the Borough of North Wales pitched to SEPTA the idea of having New Hope and Ivy Land 40 run excursions on SEPTA's main line in North Wales to celebrate the town's 150th anniversary. SEPTA's general manager, Jeffrey D. Knuppel, approved the idea, so long as a PTC-equipped engine is on one end of the train. And so, on May 18th, 2019, History was made when New Hope 40 was under the wires at North Wales Station running excursions between North Wales and Gwynedd Valley. This was one of 40's first trips off of New Hope tracks and the first time a steam engine had ran under SEPTA's wires since 1991 when Reading T1-2102 ran excursions in Lansdale, Norristown, among the other ex reading lines. With SEPTA SE15B80 on one end and 40 on the other, crowds flocked to the crossings and stations to see this amazing feat. Water was thankfully not a problem, as the North Penn Fire Department 
use their fire hoses from their fire trucks to fill up Forty's water tank when needed. After the excursions came and went, Forty took the whole excursion from North Wales to Lansdale for storage until being moved back to New Hope at night. Forty made a tremendous effort climbing Pembroke Hill, which is one of SEPTA's steepest gradients. Now there were plans to bring Forty back for Lansdale Founders Day 2019 to run excursions from Lansdale to Souderton and even Lansdale to West Point on the CSX Stony Creek Branch Line, which was a branch line that only sees one freight train a day. CSX E746. Sadly, not long after the one f North Wales 150, 40's main bearing broke due to it not being oiled correctly. 40 was forced to miss out on Lansdale Founders Day while Pennsylvania Northeastern's GP9RM7010 and SD40-2W 5342, nicknamed Tigger, took the excursions instead. Forty, however, did make a comeback for the San Esteem Spectacular and will continue in service for decades to come to show future generations what it was like to experience steam travel up close. Thanks for watching this video. If you really like this experimental video of mine, then like and subscribe. If you want to see more of, Sep of New Hope's ma motive power, then by all means, tell me what you want in the comments. After all, I'm only making this video considering the fact Engines of Septa is still on hold as I haven't got approval for certain footage yet. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and as Christopher Kovass always said, keep on steaming.